Avandia was once one of the most popular drugs to treat type 2 diabetes in the United States. But sales fell sharply in 2007 after a study linked the drug to cardiovascular problems. Now the European Medicines Agency plans to remove the drug from the market and the US Food and Drug Administration in the United States intends to restrict its use only to patients for whom all similar medications have failed. Dr. Yasser Osman, an endocrinologist in Fredericksburg, Maryland, prescribes Avandia for some patients in combination with other drugs. It's quite effective in improving the blood sugar, normalizing the blood sugar, or delaying the occurrence of diabetes in these individuals. Avandia is marketed in more than 110 countries and the European ruling will affect 30 of them. The new regulations limiting Avandia's use in the United States take effect in the next few months. Dr. Steve Nissen, a cardiologist at the Cleveland Clinic in Ohio, published the study first linking Avandia to a higher risk of heart attack. And a panel of U.S. experts that evaluated the drug again this year recommended restricted access. Dr. Nissen says he's happy with the decision to better regulate Avandia, but not with how long it took the Food and Drug Administration to limit the drug's use. I will sleep better tonight, but I will not sleep until I know that we've improved the way we handle these kinds of problems in the United States. We've got to fix the FDA. Avandia's Britain-based maker GlaxoSmithKline says it continues to believe the drug is an important treatment for patients with type 2 diabetes. And Dr. Usman is one of those who is not convinced by Dr. Nissen's research. I think when you look at the, the, the uh, information and the statistics from the initial in the study, the initial paper by Dr. Nissen in 2007, the increase in the risk of heart attacks in some of these patients is actually small. Dr. Usman argues that Avandia's rival drug, Actos, or for that matter, many over-the-counter drugs, aspirin, ibuprofen, acetaminophen, or paracetamol, can be toxic if you used improperly. If you look at the large studies, the studies that um, were published over the last several years, including large number of patients uh, comparing Avadia to either placebo or other drugs, there was actually no increase in that risk. That risk is based on smaller studies. The American Diabetes Association supports the Food and Drug Administration's decision not to totally pull Avandia off the market, but consumer advocates call for a ban. Vidushi Sinha, VOA News, Washington.